Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, it has been a minute, uh, two months, since I've been on YouTube filming content for you all. And honestly, I just want to apologize because I know at the beginning of lockdown, my goal was to create all this content to keep you all entertained while we were all locked down. But I just had to take some time for myself and some things kind of arose and happened that kind of just put me in an uncomfortable situation and didn't allow me to feel comfortable on camera anymore. Like YouTube is quite open and it's quite a, a vulnerable place for people to pass judgment on you, etc., etc. And it was an issue that I shouldn't have allowed to get to me, but it did. Um, I'll probably do like a story time video on it later because I do want to talk about the situation in depth just so that I know if any of y'all have gone through anything like that, maybe I can help you with it and how I processed it, etc, etc. But we'll save that for another video. Other than that, I just felt like I needed a break and I needed to recharge. But thank you all for who have continued to watch my content and hit all my new subscribers who are still coming in. Thank you all so much. Um, also, I got black and white hair. Um, I think I'd mentioned it before on my YouTube that I was thinking about having to change up anyway. So I finally went ahead and got it done because it needed it. Um, my friend Adam colours my hair and my friend Scott cuts my hair. So we actually changed the ball cut out now. So I've got kind of like this faded blended haircut. So much neater. I actually prefer it. I felt like the ball cut was like an end of an era. And wrapped up that kind of era. And then this is my new hair going forward. So that was like really just fun. Um, but other than that, yeah. That's it really, nothing other than new to report. Um, but other than that, you've seen by the thumbnail and the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a full glamorous, like glam AF tutorial using all my favorite products. Now I actually put like a poll on my Instagram being like, hey everyone, what do you want? A, f a YouTube using my favorite products or a YouTube being full glam? It was actually a trick question because I was gonna do a YouTube <laughs> using my favorite products to do a full glam because the, the divide was very similar. It was like 52%, 48%. So it was very close. I was like, I'll just put them both together. So we're going to do this like ultimate kind of bronze. So I've got like a little bit of self tanner on. Um, and I'm feeling like a nice little bronze moment. So we're going to do like a nice glamorous bronzed glowing tutorial. So if that's something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. Step number one, we're going to moisturize. And I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Jewish Skin Cream now. Honestly, it's steep. Like the price point is a little high and I wish it was cheaper, but honestly, like you can see how much I've really dug into it. I do really like it. And if you can get like a sample of it, then I highly do recommend it. I also love that it comes with like a little spatula, which actually fits into like the design of the jar. So it just slots in the top, which is really cute. I mean, should do a lot more for the price point, but it does leave my skin super, super glowy and just ready for makeup. So yeah, I do really like it. Now, it's no stranger that the Milk Hydro Grip is like top 10, not top 10, it's my number one primer. It's literally my number one primer. But I found a new one which equally matches it, but for a different purpose. So the Peachy Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer is a really good for if you have dry skin and you want to blur and smooth your skin without having that horrible silicone slimy feeling, if that makes sense. So I just use like literally a pump and a bit on my hands, massage into my hands and smooth into my face. Then I follow up with the Milk Hydro Grip, same again, a pump and a bit, massage into my fingers and then I just like to kind of pat it in like this and then rub it in. So I'm gonna do my normal method for foundation. Stick first, then buff out with a liquid. So the Fenty is my absolute ride or die. I use this with every stick foundation. And then I've recently been loving the Hourglass stick foundation. Haven't had this for a while, so I rebought it over the, day, the, the other day and I'm like annoyed that I've not had it for so long. So yeah, Hourglass and then I'm gonna buff it in with the Fenty. And then a couple of pumps of the Fenty uh, on the back of my hand. And by couple, I mean like way too much, but mm, who cares? And then just gonna start bouncing that in on top. So 
So I'm going to cream bronze and cream contour like I normally do. So I'm going to take my Fenty cream bronzer in the shade Macchiato. And I'm going to put this on the perimeter of my face. And then we'll go in with like a cooler contour just to really like sculpt and give us that like snatchness. So rub the brush in here. They do get quite messy, which... Yeah. And then I can just go in and just start stamping it in. And I mean, look at that. It blends like a dream. For cream contour, my favorite, look, I'm nearly out, last time which I got left. My favorite cream contour is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mink Stick Foundation. It literally is like a dream. It makes the most beautiful, cool toned contour. Like, and it blends like a dream. Then I'm just gonna use the same brush that we use for blending out the bronzer to blend out the contour and it just makes everything be more seamless. So to put all the highlights back into my face, we're gonna go in with some concealer to highlight and to add some more coverage. Like I need any more coverage, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Chantilly. This is one of my ride or dies. Now this isn't a favorite, this is gonna be a first impressions. The Hourglass Concealer, I just got it the other day and this is the first time I've done makeup since getting it. And I really, really, really wanna try it because Nikki Tutorials says it's as good as the Jouer one and the Jouer one is one of my also top favorite concealers. So we're gonna give this a whirl first. But first let's do the NARS. So everything's nice and lifted, but we want to go a little bit brighter in key areas. So that's what we're going to use the hourglass one for now. So let's see if it's any good. So I'll do a little bit here. I'll do a little bit here. And then these areas as well. And then we're just going to blend that in. It's really beautiful. I mean, we'll see how it wears, but like, it blended in like a dream. So I'm gonna do some cream blush because I love just mapping everything out first with creams. And I'm gonna use the sleek creme to powder blush in Gabara or 075, we'll go with 075. And I'm just gonna pick it up on my ring finger and I'm just gonna really start to warm the product up in the pan like this. And then once you've got it on your finger, like it's pigmented. I'm just going to start tapping it in on the high points of my cheek like this. So my brows are done. Are they even? Probably not. Don't really care. But we're going to go in with the Kinchy Beauty and Naomi Smalls eyeshadow palette. Um, and we're going to be using um, a mixture. But we're going to be mainly focusing on these like neutrals. A little bit of the black here. Just to create like a really beautiful, blown out, smoky kind of cut crease. And we can put like glitters on the lid and things. Step number one, we're gonna use eyeshadow primer and we're gonna be using the P. Louise Zero One Eyeshadow Base and I'm just gonna pat that all over the lid with a fluffy brush. Before we even go with the eyeshadow, you know one of my favorite tricks is to map out the eyeshadow design or the shape we're gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna take a brown um, pencil and I'm just gonna map out where the cut crease is gonna be. So that's mapped out. We're gonna take the shade Mad Maxine on a little dense brush like this, and we're just gonna pack that in all along the line that we've just drawn out. Now with a little pencil brush, we're gonna take the shade Mixed, and we're just gonna start diffusing that edge out. With an even fluffier brush like this one, we're gonna take the shade Savannah, and we're just gonna start blending out the edges so it seamlessly just melts into the eyeshadow base. So that palette doesn't actually have like a bony white color. So I'm gonna take Organza from the Rainbow Sharks palette, which was Kimchi Beauty's first palette. And I'm just gonna pat that all along the brow bone. So now I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna use my Embry Release Makeup Remover 
and my My Keiko Q-tips. Just gonna clean off the lid space and then fill it back in with the P. Louise base. So I'm going to take Madame Maxine and we're just going to diffuse the outer wing into the lid. Then dipping back into the Rainbow Sharps palette we're going to take the Organza shade and just set the lid. Then we're going to take the Hello Sunshine Lit Glitter and we're going to put that on the inner corner. Now would it even be a cut crease on this channel if I didn't line it <laughs> with a glitter liner? So I'm just gonna take the Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Urban Decay Eyeliner and we're just gonna trace underneath the cut crease. Now I'm gonna take that same first dense packer brush and we're just gonna take the dark brown and just pack that all under the lower lash line. Both my eyes are done, my lip liner is now on as well and we're gonna do Shredding powder. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder for my under eye and my T-zone where I want to brighten. And then I'm going to use the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass for the rest of my face. So I'm going to leave my under eyes to bake a little bit, but the rest of my skin I've brushed off the excess powder. Now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 3. I really like it as a bronzer. It is like a setting powder, but like I said, I like using it as a bronzer. For contour, I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan Light <laughs> Sculpting Powder, and you can see, I do need to get a new one because I've hit the pan, but this has been like my favorite contour powder for like, literally I would say, the past three years. Like I don't really use anything else. Like. I'll try new things, but I always come back to this one because it's just the best. And I like it as well because if you do go a bit too warm with your bronzer and you do go a bit too heavy handed because it's cool toned, it does help to like neutralize all the orangeness. And then as I'm brushing off my powder, I'm kind of just like working it into the bronzing area and you'll just see that it just helps to diffuse any kind of like harsh lines. And it just kind of helps to melt everything together. I'm just using like this little dense brush and I can really just work the remaining powder in. And you can just see it gives like a beautiful finish. So for blush, we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peachy Love Blush Trio. I, this, you know full well how long this blush has been like my ride or die. It is just the best. Okay, so the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored is the best red lipstick you will ever come across in your whole entire life. It's literally insane, like, it's the best red. So for setting spray, we're going to be using the one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Patch All Day Stay All Night. It's a setting spray. But we're going to be using this one. It's really good. And then find yourself dry. So I'm gonna go add some finishing touches and then I'll be back with the final look. And here's the finished makeup look. I literally just did my usual, went off camera, added jewels. Now, both of these are from AliExpress. I've mentioned it before in videos. It's like a super cheap place to buy jewelry from. And when I say cheap, like the earrings were like four pounds, five pounds, and the choke was like six pounds. These ones are actually my own. They, they weren't that cheap. They're from, this one's from Regal Rose. And then these ones are from ASOS, but they're like sterling silver, so they're like a little bit pricier. Um, and then I just chucked on, well look, it's a favourites video. How could I not use my Ellis Times Idol lashes because I literally created them because... 
So I double stacked a pair together to create this beautiful tapered lash. Chucked on my new wig from Crystal. We wanted kind of like this Angelina Jolie in Soul inspired wig. So she whipped that straight off for me and I like, look how cool it looks. It's so pretty. And I've actually been going through like a bit of a fringe stage. So be prepared for lots of fringe looks because I've got so many wigs with fringes in. But I'm just going on now. So yeah, if you want to know any more information about any of the products used in today's video, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, if there's any questions like if you, if I know of a cheaper alternative, blah, 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 things like that, let me know down in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But that literally concludes today's video. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video and what other videos you would like to see. And yeah, I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.